In this video, we are discussing that how to enter the opening balances in zero accounting software. So for that purpose, we need to click on this accounting. In accounting, we have this option, which is advance. Click it. And when we click on this advance, this window will open. And here we have this last option, which is conversion balances. So if you need to enter the opening balances in for your chart of account, for your ledgers, so then you need to click this option, conversion balances. So click it. So when you click it, it will give us the list of all the ledgers which we created. So here you need to enter the opening balances one by one for all your GL accounts. So here I have a list of a simple opening balances. This is my trial balance. So let's uh, enter the opening balances. So we have first Emirates NBD, that is our bank. So the total amount is 800,000. So here we have this Emirates NBD. So that is 800,000. Press tab. Then after that, we have Noor Islamic Bank, which is 2,500,000. Two so Noor Islamic Bank is 2,500,000. Two then we have Dubai Islamic Bank. Okay, so Dubai Islamic Bank that has that has an overdraft balance of 500,000. So here you need to enter negative 500,000. Press tab. After Dubai Islamic Bank, we have cash in hand, which is 44. So 44 double zero triple zero. Then we have this HK Textile, JJ Textile, uh, Acer Cloth Industry, Sheikh and Ayatollah Clothes. These are our account receivable. These are our customers. So the total account receivable is this is 10650. So account receivable is that is six uh 110 so that is 1650000 tab similarly next we have after this account receivable we have this inventory so inventory is double two six seven five hundred so the inventory is double two six seven five hundred tab then after inventory we have a rent security which is three hundred thousand so we have rent security which is three hundred thousand tab then we have deferred expenses, uh, which is two. Uh, we have deferred expenses. Okay, so here we have this deferred expenses. Two, two, triple zero, triple zero, tab. And after deferred expenses, we have a security deposit of five hundred thousand. So we have a security deposit of five hundred thousand, tab. Then after security depo uh, deposits, we have a long-term investment of 3850000 dollars So we have long-term investment that is 3850 dollars tab. Then we have our uh, machinery, our fixed assets of so 7-5. So we have machinery 7-5-0-0-0 tab. Then we have accumulated depreciation on machinery, which is 250. So that is a less, so negative 250,000 tab. Then we have uh, motor vehicles, which is 10000000. So 10000000 tab. Then we have uh, accumulated uh, depreciation on motor vehicles, which is 550. So accumulated depreciation on motor vehicle, which is 550 tab. Then we have furniture and fixture, which is 112 double zero triple zero. So that is 112 uh, one two double zero triple zero tab. Then we have less accumulated depreciation on furniture and fixture, that is 125. That is negative 125,000. Tab. Then we have office equipment. Office equipment is fifteen double zero triple zero. So one five double zero triple zero. Tab. Then we have uh, accumulated appreciation on office equipment, which is three hundred thousand. So negative three hundred thousand. Tab. 
then we have a building so building is 25 triple zero triple zero 25 one two three triple zero and triple zero tab tab and then accumulated appreciation on building which is 250 so negative 250 so this is how you need to enter the opening balances in zero accounting software then after that uh, next we have these are our accounts payable our suppliers so the total amount of supplier is for al murtara and son wahid and son sitara textile that is 1042 500 so we need to enter in accounts payable 102 1042 500 so accounts payable is 1042 500 press tab 1042 500 so it's same then after this uh, we have accrued expenses of 200,000 so we have accrued expenses of 200,000 tab then we have unclaimed dividend which is 750 so unclaimed dividend that is 750,000 then we have uh, sales tax payable which is 175,000 so we have sales tax payable which is 175,000 tab then after sales tax payable we have interest accrued on long-term loans which is 525,000 so interest accrued on long-term loans that is five to five thousand tab and uh, then we have a journal reserve we have journal reserve of uh, okay we have journal reserve here which is one triple zero triple zero tab and the last we have honors capital that is a sh uh, the share capital fifty seven eight hundred thousand so honor a shares capital that is 57 800,000 so 57 800,000 tab so this is how you need to enter the opening balances in zero accounting software and you can see here the total debit side and the total credit side is balanced so there is no difference so our try our opening balances are tally are match and now you need to save it so click here to save so this is how you enter the opening balances in zero accounting software and then save it so when you save it it will give us this message that balance saved for the period from 1st january till this date so guys if you have any question related to this topic you can uh, write your questions in the comment section we will reply you